Welcome back, friends, and happy holidays. It's Anders. Today we are making the Brandy Alexander. Growing up in Wisconsin, this was the quintessential holiday drink for me. It was on par with eggnog. It's a sweet dessert drink that is rich and decadent and it has a nice festive dusting of nutmeg on top. If you like chocolate and you like milkshakes, then you are going to love the Brandy Alexander. Oh, oh. my mom's calling. It's Christmas, I should talk to her. If you're new to the channel, welcome, hit that subscribe button for more sips, tips, and recipes, and let's make the Brandy Alexander. To the bar. The Brandy Alexander is a classic that was first seen in the 1937 publication of the Cafe Royal Cocktail Book. So it's been around a while but it's not the original. The Brandy Alexander is a brandy-based variation of the Alexander cocktail, which was born years earlier. And it was a gin-based cocktail with creme de cacao and cream, all equal parts. There are a number of Alexander variations, some that call for coffee liqueurs, some call for vanilla vodka, saw one that was blue curacao, but the Brandy Alexander is the most common. And I just wanna keep it simple. For tools, I've got my tin on tin Boston shaker, my jigger, Hawthorne strainer, fine mesh strainer, and a microplane zester because we're gonna grate nutmeg on top. That's it. Now the booze. For the booze, we're gonna need cognac, creme de cacao, and cream. The cognac I'm using is Maison Rouge VSOP, and the creme de cacao is Tempest Fugit creme de cacao. You can use whatever brandy you'd like, I don't even want to talk about brandy. This is just what I always use. This is my go-to brandy. The creme de cacao, however, there are two different kinds. You've got your light creme de cacao and your dark creme de cacao, and you could use them interchangeably. Personally, I like the darker creme de cacao. It's a little bit richer, and it works really well in this cocktail. For the cream, if you want to go all out rich and decadent, use vanilla ice cream. Just two scoops of that in there, and you have yourself a frozen Brandy Alexander. And for years, this is what I thought a traditional Brandy Alexander was. Because in Wisconsin, that's just what you do. You make a boozy milkshake that is extremely dangerous and wonderful. But for just cream, you can use heavy cream or half and half will work. And if you wanna go dairy free, use your favorite non-dairy creamer. Whatever you use, make sure it's a neutral flavor. Now we can build. There we go. The recipe that I'm gonna be using is two parts cognac to one part creme de cacao and one part cream. So it's very simple. So let's start with the cognac. I'm gonna go two ounces of cognac. Then I'm gonna go one ounce of cream. And one ounce of creme de cacao. That simple. Now we can add ice and shake. Oh, my hands are numb. There we are. And then double strain this into a chilled cocktail glass. So I've got a goblet. Then the grated nutmeg right on top. I like a good amount on this, because it's not just pretty. You get the smell of the nutmeg and it really makes it wonderful. The Brandy Alexander. Cheers. Mm. This is gonna disappear quickly. It is super easy to drink, very dangerous. I'm no joke, it tastes like a chocolate milkshake and it's good any time of year, especially during the holidays. Oz, would you like to try this? I would like to try it. There you go. I believe this was John Lennon's favorite cocktail. Mm. That's what I hear. I don't know if that's true or not, but I like that to think so. That is so tasty. It's good, isn't it? It's like chocolatey. That's amazing. Yeah, look at this. It's almost gone. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell to be notified the next time a video comes out. And I will see you next time. No, oh, I have to call my mom. I'm good, how are you?